in the kitchen. Ma in the kitchen. It's ma in the kitchen. Ma in the kitchen. Where we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's ma in the kitchen. Ma in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm knock it. I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Ma in the Kitchen. Quick news edition with your girl Lexi Poo. You done tuned in to a sweet show today. I'm wearing my yellow because we are going to make a lemon cake. Before we get into that, get into this. Make sure you like, subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. Bing! Hit that bell to be notified and leave your comment down below. Y'all, here we go. I have my milk, y'all. This is the only milk I had, and I only had a little bit of it. So, uh, I added some water to it. I know we ain't supposed to add no water to no cake, but listen, we're going to make it do what it do, baby. I have uh, Kroger brand lemon pudding pie filling. This is, of course, the cake brand that I'm going to be using. I have some flour right here. I have butter right here. I'm not using all this butter, y'all. I'm going to use one and a half sticks. I have my vegetable oil right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Vegetable oil right there. Um, I have my hand mixer right here. I have brown sugar. Four eggs right here in the corner. And I have baking powder. So let's get started. Oh, oh and I have lemon juice, y'all. This lemon juice. Now it's not fresh to squeeze, but y'all already know how it goes. So we already added our... um. Our vegetable oil it say we're gonna use one and one for a cup of milk this is my own recipe that I done made a lot of cakes so I said I came up with saying that this was the best one um it said we're gonna use one and one for a cup of milk watch y'all see how my milk look don't laugh okay hold on look you can fool somebody honestly so one and one fours. One and one four. You know what? I messed up, y'all. Hold on. Let me grab a bowl. Let me grab my mixer. Hold on. Pull that out. Pull it on out. Now I'm going to set this to the side. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with my butter. Okay. Here we go. Why don't worry about it. Y'all already know I got my towel right there on the stove. So I use one, one uh, whole stick of uh, unsalted, and I'm going to use a half a stick of salted. This is Lando Lake Butter, y'all. You know what? Tell me. Hold on. Tell me if I should start putting like the good sales ad stuff. Um, like maybe on our Facebook, or should I do like a little video like on Mondays or Tuesday? Use the still at going to effect on Tuesday. Let me know if y'all want to see me like because I, I bargain shop, so I shop at a lot of different stores. Let me see, tell me if y'all want me to like do y'all a little video, a little clip, maybe like a two minute video every like Tuesday or something like that, letting y'all know what stores got the best uh sales because I got that Lando Lake butter from Kroger. Uh, a four pack and it was only $2.49 y'all and it wasn't a lemon first you're going to mix your butter first that's what this is do first it's already softened as y'all can see see it's already soft so now we got to mix that's what we're supposed to do first y'all my bad my bad we're going to add our um our milk and our oil and then we're going to I'll get that out my oh no, I'm gonna use this for my age. I'm gonna mix that again. Okay, we're gonna mix that a little bit. Let me see if I can use something to set this up hot. Oh. Oh. See how I can see. Is that better? Is that Hopefully that's a little bit better, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna crack our eggs. We're gonna crack our eggs in here first. Boom. And 
have four eggs. This is the last egg, y'all. Okay, here we go. We'll turn on our hand mixer. And for this bowl not to, it's really not move, but for it really not to move, you could put a, like a damp paper towel under it. Same thing you can do for a cutting board. Try to do one egg at a time, y'all. Now before we add our other ingredients, we're going to scrape our sides. Just like that, like that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to just set it right here to the side because I know I'm going to need that again. Okay, now for our lemon juice. I'm going to add one-fourth cup. A little under one-fourth cup, y'all. Can y'all see that? Just a little under. Won't want to do too much. It'll make you say, no, 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 no. Won't want to do too much. Okay, now we're going to need, uh, let me do my, what's called? Let me mix this. I mean, I'm going to do my brown sugar. I'm going to do my brown sugar. Okay, brown sugar said we need one fourth cup, y'all. One cup. We gonna pack it. Ooh. All right, y'all. Hey. Ooh. Now we're getting something done. We're going to pack it. We need a little bit more. Oh, that should be good enough. Dump it in there. Dump it in there. And we're going to mix that up. And then next one, we're going to add, y'all, we're going to add our baking powder. Baking powder, we have, and this is my own writing, it's so disrespectful. Oh, one eighth of a teaspoon. Where are our teaspoons at? Y'all know sometimes how people you can't read your own handwriting, right? We ain't gonna go there though. One eighth, because remember, this box already come with baking powder in it, so <laughs> you don't want to rise, let it rise too much. Okay, so that's our one eighth. Next, we're gonna add the uh, Jello. Add the whole packet. This is like a smaller packet, y'all. They have ones as big as that. Oh, I didn't let y'all know. Today is my two-year anniversary. It's my two-year anniversary, y'all, and Tony has no idea. I'm telling you what made me want to make this cake for him why i am putting one fourth cup of flour in there so what made me want to make this cake for my husband is um is we went to nothing but cakes right and they had in a little display place right they had um they had a lemon cake in there and they little display case they had lemon cake y'all when i tell y'all Tony sat there and ate. I say maybe they hit about probably like Patty. Patty dropped the whole thing in there. They had um they had maybe about like 20 pieces in there. When I tell you Tony had to eat 10 of those 20, he just kept on eating them. Over and I know my husband liked to let me cake like that. Because you know that never be every time I ask him what type of cake do you want me to make, he never like says the lemon cake. <laughs> But when I see he was tearing it up, and I don't even really, I'm not really a fan of women cake, but y'all, it was just it. So 
Say a pinch of salt. I ain't get the salt out, y'all. Okay. Blender. There it is. There it is, and there it was. Okay, we can pull this watery milk out, y'all. <sighs> yeah, I had to do what I had to do. You gotta do what you got to get what you want. Period. Okay, now we got this. Y'all see how thick she is? She thick. gonna mix her good, mix her whack. I'm gonna get the side top with my spatula right here. Then we're gonna mix whack again with our hand blender. With look how thick she look. That's good, y'all. Okay. And y'all once um. Uh, once y'all get done mixing a final time, I'm finna tell you, if y'all done seen my other cake videos, I think I did one or two other ones. The secret is, hold on, let me make sure she lemony enough, hold on. She can use just a little bit more tang. Just a little bit more tang. She lemony, y'all. Yeah, she lemony. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. She's lemony. To me, if you're making a cake like this, like a lemon cake, it's okay to do a little taste. Because you want to make sure that she's lemony. And remember, we're going to put some lemon uh, in the uh, the icing that we're going to make. We're going to put some lemon in that too. The frosting icing. I don't worry about making a mess everywhere. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Oh! So you don't like lemon cake, but I, I'm, I'm going to like that though. Okay, now like I said, the secret is, what we're going to do is, you're going to put this to the side. Like put it on your, uh, your living room table or something like that. You want to make sure that it's kind of like a little bit above room tip so it's not hot in your house. A little bit above room tip. In like kind of like a cool area, not the refrigerator, not the freezer. Set it out and just let it sit. Don't cover it. Just let it sit. Sometimes I, I the long as I ever let my cake sit, probably like four hours. So right now it is twelve forty three in the morning, and I'm probably not gonna in the evening, so in, the, in the afternoon. So I'm probably not gonna put this cake on till I would say probably about like so it can cool. I'll probably put this cake on. Probably like 4 35 o'clock. Yeah, pre uh, 5 o'clock. I'm gonna put this cake on. Y'all see that? It's even. If it's even in here, it's usually gonna bake even. Alright, y'all already heated my oven to 350. And um, I'm gonna even it out. And it just in case it will overflow, I'm gonna bake it on here. So if it overflow, it'll overflow right off the edges. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Right, everybody, fam, I'm back. This right here came out of center of that. So instead of the cake overflowing the way we thought it would, like out on the sides like this, it did it. It overflowed to the middle. But that's okay. So what you're going to do now is, okay, you're going to grab your pie. I mean your pie. Look, pie. You're going to grab your cake, right? Let me get the right angle for day y'all go. Okay, you're going to do like this. I know that's messed with y'all ears, but that's how you're going to do it. So do it a lot of times on every side. So just tilt and bang, tilt and bang, like that. Okay, see, so I'm going to take my cake pan that I have right here. I'm going to put that on top of there like this. And I'm going to hold my edges like that. And I'm going to flip it. 
Okay. She should be loose from all the banging you did, but sometimes you gotta get a, um, a spoon like this. Get a spoon. Oh, and did I tell you make sure it's completely cool? Come on, come out, girl. Period! Look. Y'all see her? Baby, she's looking. Ooh. Baby, she looking moist. Look at her. Boom, boom, boom. Like a sponge. <laughs> like a sponge. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my butter. Half, uh, I think this is salt, unsalted. This is unsalted, y'all. This one is unsalted. But then we're going to grab the other half. This is salted, y'all. And don't forget the rest of the butter that's on the plate, y'all. Come on. Can't waste that. So just scoop off the rest of the butter that's on that plate, just like that. Okay. And this is what we looking like, y'all. We're going to whip our butter. Alright, so she's whipped good, just like that. We're going to grab our cream cheese. Open. Open it up, just like this. Hold on, y'all. So we back, we got our cream cheese in a bowl, and we're going to whip the butter and the cream cheese together. Okay, just like that, y'all. So y'all look like, it just like that. Okay, now we're going to grab our vanilla extract. I don't measure, this might be like, uh, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, something like that. Don't give me the one. About a teaspoon, y'all. Y'all know it. And then we're gonna grab our lemon juice. Don't start with that much. Oh, hold on, one second. Okay, uh, we back. My bad, y'all. My pot was over there doing a percolator. Okay. We mix that. Now we're gonna add about two cups of uh, uh, um, confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, same thing. Right, that's a little bit more than two cups, but don't worry. Safe like this, y'all. We're gonna mix it. We don't need that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna taste it. Oh, she's giving me lemon. Nope, it's perfect. I just got that lemon on the back. All right, y'all. So we're gonna ice it. Hold it back. Okay, y'all. This is how I do it. I get a cup. You know what I'm doing? I get a cup. Put the tip. This is gallon size. about that. Put the tip of the cup in the bag. The other tip gonna be hanging out like this. Pull the bag over the cup. And then. Just like that. It's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all. My husband told me, I've never made him a lemon cake. Oh, yeah, and the reason why I didn't put real lemon, y'all, is because, um, like I say, like, put some zesty lemon, uh, some lemon zest, is because my husband's not going to like that. Came about that life, y'all. Oh, let me give me a, a flat edge special. Uh, yeah, I know he's definitely not gonna like that. If I would put real lemon zest on there, he would love it, but he would be like, Why did you put that? He picky, he's not a um, a texture eater, y'all. Some people like different textures, he's not a texture eater like that, so that's why I would have put some lemon zest. Sometimes some people put it in a cake and they put it on top, yeah. I wouldn't do that because I know I don't want to hit his mouth. I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? Then I would have to cut him. Alright, y'all, just like that. Pull it out the bag. Like this, push it down. Y'all see that? Alright, so we got our shake. Oh, and I need some scissors. Okay, hold on, y'all, because I got to cut this edge perfect. Hold on. Okay, y'all, we back and I already cut the hole. Can y'all see that hole? Y'all see that? Okay, here we go. I did that wrong. I'm supposed to go like this. And this cake is so moist. You see it falling apart. It's so moist that you don't need a lot of icing. I'm going to put a couple more strips in here. And I'm going to fill a little bit in the middle. So that's good. I'm going to save the rest of this for uh the other bat I have left. Y'all, when I say freeze it, don't do that, y'all. All right, that's the finished product. It look a little ragged, but don't worry about that, y'all. Mama. Yeah, baby. We got a problem. What's the problem? The everybody film they ain't like it, 
they ain't commenting, they ain't subscribing, they ain't even sharing the video so it can be a blessing to somebody else. They keeping the recipes all to themselves. What? Now that's the coldest one. Okay, but what you gonna do about that though? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Mama, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. What is Ghostbusters gonna do? They gonna bust them up. 